Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is about reading all Excel sheets of Excel file into a single and multiple SAS data sets easily. I have made a similar video some time back. In that video, I was more talking about reading all Excel sheets of Excel file into a single SAS data set. And also I was discussing about one particular scenario only in that case. In here, I want to make this video simple and I want to talk about two scenarios. Now let us look into those two scenarios real quick. To do that, first let's look into our Excel files. Here I have one dot XLX file wherein I have three sheets. The first sheet is demo one, second sheet is demo two, and third sheet is demo three. In all these sheets, I have name and age variables and I have couple of observations in all of them. If you see here, they have common prefix demo in front of them. This is our first scenario. And in the second scenario, again, I have very similar data wherein I have name and age as variables and two observations each. In here, the scenario is the sheets are different. Now let us discuss wherein all the sheets have common prefix scenario. In here, my Excel files are there in this particular location, but I am only interested currently about one dot XLX file. And in here, I can use a lib name statement wherein I am saying lib name and I am giving my libref and I am giving it name as T and I am saying XLX that is my engine and my location of my Excel file. Once we run this lib name, what happens is I can access all the Excel sheets into my library. Now let us quickly look into the library which we have just created. You can see that there are three Excel sheets which we can access in the SAS now and they are demo1, demo2 and demo3. Use this lib name with XLX engine. We need to have SAS 9.4 M2 version or greater. Now let us look into our two tasks. The first task is to copy all the sheets as data sets into a particular library. Before doing that, we also need to run the lib name into which we want to create our SAS data sets. And now let us run this. Now we have created our lib name, mylib, and in here we don't have any SAS data sets. So whenever we create data sets in one library, and if you want to copy all those data sets into another library, it is quite easy and it is usually done through proc copy. Now, I simply need to say proc copy in equal to t out equal to my lib run. What this does is demo1, demo2, demo3, which are there in t library, it can be easily copied out to my lib. Now let us run this proc copy and let's see what's happening in here. Once we have run the proc copy, you can see that my lib has all the three data sets. And this is super simple and easy. Now we have looked into how to copy all the sheets as data sets into a particular library. Now let us see how we can append all sheets into single data set. Now we can append all our Excel sheets by doing something like a set statement and mentioning all our Excel sheets in here by doing t.demo1, t.demo2, t.demo3. In here, if you see, there is a common prefix in here to access the data sets with common prefix. All we can do is simply use a trick wherein we can use a wildcard colon and what this does is it access all the Excel sheets 
we start with demo and then it concatenates or it combines all the data sets and creates the SAS data set we want. And now let us quickly run this piece of code and in here you can see that we have created a new data set one underscore combined and this is our SAS data set and now let us quickly also look into mylib here you can see there is one underscore combined data set. Now we have looked into how we can access all the excel sheets which have common prefix and to create into many data sets also how to combine all sheets into a single SAS data set. Now let us look into scenario 2 wherein all sheets do not have common prefix. Again to do access all the excel sheets I need to again use the libname statement and in here I am saying libname j xlx and in here I am giving the path in here I have two dot xlx in the end and also I have libname ourlib that is my libref is known as ourlib first let us quickly run these both the libnames at once and here let's look into the j library in here we have three excel sheets which we can access in here and also our lib does not have any data sets bringing all the sheets as sas data sets into another library is quite simple and we have already done something like this and we can do the same by using proc copy wherein i am saying proc copy in equal to j out equal to our lib semicolon run that is copy all the sheets which are there in j library and bring them into our lib as sas data set now let us quickly run this and in here let's quickly look into our lib library here again you can see i have all the three sas data sets now available in our lib so to append all sheets into a single sas data set i need to write my set statement and then i need to mention all the sheets which are there in our j library and then i need to write j.mysheet j.people j.unknown and then i can combine them this is hard coding and is often error prone and I can generate this j.mysheet, j.people and j.unknown by using the above query wherein I am using an into clause. I have made a couple of videos on this topic. One is a very long video wherein I talk about into clause and also about separated by. And also to bring all the excel sheets into SAS dataset also is another video wherein I talk about this. But for now by doing select cat x and then i am saying dot libname mem name into colon all sheets this will create macro variable all sheets and separated by space means whatever the values we have we want to have it together and have separated by a space something like this and in here i am also saying from dictionary dot table where upcase libname equal to j so all the sheets which are there in my j library i want to get them appended and my macro variable should be having a value something like this now let us quickly run this code and also let me do a percent put ampersand all sheets in here and let's quickly look into our log in the log you can see that j dot sheet j dot people j dot unknown it is very much similar to what i have in my set statement in here so all i need to do is ampersand all sheets and once i run this what it does is it combines all the sheets into our data set and in here you can see that we have two dot combined in our lib now let's also look into our lib here you can see that we have 
two underscore combined data set wherein all the observations have been combined. So by making use of dictionary dot tables, what we have done is we have appended all the sheets that do not have common prefix. That's all for this video. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe and thank you.